Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Wizzy, as you guys all know. Today guys, I have a very, really, really, in like, it's a pretty interesting topic I have for you guys today. So anyway guys, I hope you guys are all enjoying uh, Black Ops 3 so far. I'm absolutely loving the game and I can't believe that guy just didn't die. What is that? Now that we got that kill guys, just let me know your thoughts and opinions on Black Ops 3. I'm absolutely loving the game, I love how it plays, just everything about it is really cool. And that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. Anyway, today guys, I'm going to be talking to you about how it's sort of a way to improve um, just as a player in general, but also in the Black Ops 3 scene. In BO3, because of the lack of being able to jump, drop shot, all those sort of things, scuffs, they sort of come into it and they don't really come into it. What I'm trying to say is you don't really need to jump shot in a gunfight. It actually puts you at a more disadvantage if you jump shot in a gunfight than if you were to shoot someone normally without doing anything. It's really strange because most Call of Duties you get an advantage or a slight like advantage over your opponent when you jump or drop shot. In Black Ops 3, usually when you jump or drop shot, you put yourself into a worse worse a position and it actually really affects how the kill t uh, plans out and how the kill actually turns out. To just not run up to people and jump shot because as soon as you do that you're in a really big disadvantage. As soon as you do this your aim gets thrown off a little bit and that's it's really strange but I reckon it's really good by Treyarch and really smart to do that by them. It means that when you are shooting and stuff that your bullets aren't going to hit all of the time and that's really frustrating for most people. Now, for the competitive scene, it's going to be so much about accuracy and how it's going to work. But they might jump shot and drop shot a little bit more, so it might be a little bit more even in that aspect. But other than that, like, just right there, you can't do these jump shots. Do not do those jump shots. If you hold down the A button and jump shot like that, you're going to get absolutely destroyed every time. Like, not even kidding. If you just do those little jump shots, then you should be fine, uh, as long as your accuracy is on point and everything. But never, like, drop shot next to someone, because you're going to get destroyed if you do that. And it's happened to me a lot, and it got frustrating, but once you get really accurate and everything like that, you'll be, re you'll be re like, you'll just notice the difference, and you'll love, um, just so much better you become at this game. The fact that it comes into, like, like, the accuracy sort of thing, is making sure you have the right attachments on your guns so then you can be more accurate. Don't put attachments on guns like rapid fire and all that sort of stuff. Just make sure you got the right attachments on to make sure you're accurate as possible so you give yourself the best chance of winning the gunfight. Basically my whole point of this video is to put across you have to be accurate in Black Ops 3. Work on your accuracy, it will improve you so much because in other Call of Duties you could get away with not, not being accurate. So my main point, again guys, make sure you're very accurate in Black Ops 3. This will help you out immensely and will help you out with all your gunfights and everything. And it will just help you out in general with everything you have in the future with future Call of Duties and all that sort of stuff. If you guys wanted to give this video a big thumbs up, all your support on my videos helps me out. Appreciate everything you guys do on my videos. Thank you guys for watching. And as always guys, this has been Wizzy. I'll catch you guys in my next game.